By the way, Taylor, okay, where's Taylor at right now? This is what Taylor's doing. Taylor has went to Sleepy Zone. Hey guys, I'm Peter Melhorn. It's winter time, water's cold, air's cold, but I'm gonna drag the kids out and we're gonna use some live bait, try to catch some crappie and some perch. Taylor, Taylor, get up here and wrestle that fish. Grayson got a fish. Is it a catfish or what we got here? Think it's a good crappie? Oh crap, he is a good one. All right, walk back with the rod. Oh Lord. Just walk back. Yeah, don't, don't reel. Don't reel. Don't reel. Yeah, that's a good fish, dude. That's a good. Hold that. T hold that rod right there. Support that rod for me. Sweet baby James. Taylor, you want to hold this one? Yeah. Grab him in the mouth. Grab him hard. Act like you own him. Pinch him hard. Pinch him hard. Hold him up. Hold him up even higher. There you go. I was trying to set up another rod. I look over and I saw Got that one thing. quick, didn't we? That's a good fish, dude. Can I throw him sure. back in the water? Or? No, we're eating him. He's getting to eat. Yes, sir. Throw him in there. Dang. That did not take long. We didn't even have all the rods out, and that hit one of the uh, catch the fever rods that was out, suspended about 12, 14 feet down. Let's see if there's some more. Keep yeah. reeling, keep reeling. I think there's one on there. Just nice and steady. Nice and steady. Nice and steady. Nice and steady wins the race. That's right. And catches the crappie or the perch or whatever the heck it is. Pretty sure you got one on there. Keep on reeling. Yeah, I see it tipping. Boom. That's a good perch. Back on that. Pal. Got another one, dude. That's quick. That's two fish very quickly. Okay. Nice and tough. There you go. Good job. Good fish. Leave him in the live well. We'll keep him. Guys, that's two fish, and we don't even have the rods out. I don't know if we're in the right place, or we just hit two stupid ones, but we're going to get some more rods in. Take your time, take your time, take your time. Don't horse them. Some of these, you can pull, them, pull the hook right out of their mouth if you winch on them too hard. There you go, nice and steady. Nice and steady. Nice and steady. Almost up here. There we go. Another good, another good perch. Lean them over here. Wow. Good one, Tyler. Number two, we on the perch. Pinch him like you own him. There we go. I feel his tongue was laying out. Yeah, flip him in a tank, we'll keep it. What we may do, guys, is uh, put some cut bait on some of these rods. If we're getting hit with this many perch, I ain't gonna burn through all our minnows on them. The perch are a lot more likely to hold, to eat the uh, cut bait than the uh, crappie are, so we may save the crappie for them. And three in a boat. We just rolled up on top of some stuff. Oh, a little crappie. I don't know if he's gonna make it. Is he big enough? Ah, uh, no. He is not. I'm going to say toss him. He's long, but I uh, ain't going to make eight inches. Caught him. We ain't going to keep him. Chuck him. There you go. Dude, we've got like a narrow little pocket of where these fish are in here. We got blown off of them by the wind. The wind was kind of gusting pretty hard there. But there's like this narrow little pocket where these fish are sitting at a perfect depth. We're going to try to hover on them. They're biting. It's a good bite. It's four fish pretty quickly. But we got to be right on top of them. Go ahead. What we got? What we got? Crop your perch. Crop your perch. Crappy. Always in the other line. Perch. Are you a perch? I don't yeah. know why I said crappy. He, he kind of made a mess. Let me deal with the mess there. He kind of got in that other line. So what was going on here, we found a point that had some fish on it. The problem was they were in a very narrow depth range to where they were biting. Fish all over the point, except for up shallow, pretty much from anywhere from 20 feet all the way down to the river channel that was around 40. There were fish. There was a narrow window at about 25 feet where we were catching fish where these arches and these fish we were marking were biting so we had to try to stay in there the bad part was wind started blowing that made it a little more difficult reel on that throw your bait down there you go there you go reel on it reel on it reel there you go sorry about that i got you out of position okay there we go there we go hopefully the wind stays down yeah. hopefully they don't cut that tree down on top of us there you go swing them around here little bitty perch that gun little one it's all right, he counts. Boom. That tree's not gonna fall on us, I promise. What I'm doing is dropping that sinker right onto the bottom and then just lifting it. So it's right off the bottom. That's where I'm picking them off at. Thank you. And I haven't even really got it. Well, these things are just like mouthing the bait and then not a strong bite at all. That's a good one though. Good sized fish. Go ahead, Nick, you got one in your net. It's a subtle bite, dude. 
I was sitting there, I was like, dude, am I feeling something? And then it it's like... A subtle, subtle bite. They barely hit this stuff. Is that the same fish? Because there's a big hole. Yeah. You want to throw that back? Yeah, guys, normally I'm putting out uh, double hook rigs, sinker on the bottom, two hooks above it. And uh, usually that works. Use them dragging and trolling, but man, uh, for whatever reason, they're hitting these fish finder rigs, Carolina rig, whatever you want to call it. Um, who knows why? It's uh, sinkers up off the bottom and the baits. I'm basically dropping it, getting it about two cranks off the bottom. It is a subtle bite. They are popping it and that's it. They're not folding the rod over and running up with it. It's almost like they're hitting it and sitting there. Uh, very similar to a crappie bite. They're you know, kind of a, sometimes crappie will hit them and take off. But man, not today. These things are very lethargic in their, their bite and their attack. With that said, we probably caught 20. The bite's been excellent. It just ain't aggressive, if that makes any sense. Bring it. Get it? I think I got him. Oh, it's a good one too. I, I had two for a second, it felt like. Dang, he swallowed that sucker. You get days like that where they bite just different. Uh, you know, I've heard that with skipjack. I don't fish for skipjack a lot, but I've heard that from folks that fish for skipjacking. Some days they want stuff moving, the, some days the they want some action. I don't know, Taylor lost her pliers. By the way, Taylor, we had Taylor out here earlier. Okay, where's Taylor at right now? This is what Taylor's doing. Taylor has went to sleepy zone. And in the process, she had our pliers. They're not in the bottom of the bait tank. You know, I just thought about that. We didn't hear anything splash, so I don't think they went in the water, but well, Taylor got her a nap in. We ran out of time, so we had to get Taylor back to the ramp. And Grayson and I made a run down the lake, placed close to the boat ramp, to try to catch a couple more before it got dark. You got it? Look at that rod bend. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Dang. Heck yeah. Two feet off the bottom. Dragging that little bait down through there, which has stopped. There's the rig. I'm going to chunk him in the tank. Here's the rig. We just got a minute. About a number four hook. Carolina rig, fish finder. I hear people call this a fish finder rig. I've always called it a Carolina rig. God knows there's different names for everything. It's your main line, which I've got braid. I got a sinker on it. I got a swivel and a piece of leader and then a piece of bait. Just got it down on the bottom. I'm dropping it to the bottom about two cranks off and that's where I'm dragging it. It's a subtle, subtle bite today. It's like pop, pop, and that's it. Nothing really folding it over. So we're catching them. All right, guys, our little flurry of goodness has shut down. Man, we're pulling across a bunch of fish, all kinds of stacked up, all kinds of depths, and they're not getting hit. The one thing we did do after we dropped tater bug off was we came down the lake and the water is a little more stained here than where we were. So I think that's probably adding to our struggle of catching these fish. Crappie generally, at least the way I fish for them, have a lot better luck catching them in cleaner water. You can catch them in stained water, dingy water, dirty water, all things being equal. I'd rather fish for them in relatively clean water, especially if you're in a reservoir that has clean water generally. We got them in here, man. I'm looking at them on the sonar and they're all over the place. So we got bait swimming right by them, but we've got a bunch in the tank. We got a bunch to eat. We've got a bunch for bait. So I'm not gonna complain. It's been a pretty good day.